Hello, Dr. Joe here. So, I got a letter the other day from one of you folks asking about the signs of vitamin D deficiency. Um, you know, the signs of low vitamin D. Uh, this was the result of the video that I published a couple of days ago. And I thought, yeah, that was a reasonable question and it will make a nice follow-up video to that very one. So we're going to be talking about uh, the signs of uh, low vitamin D in today's video. So uh, here's the thing. Oh, by the way, the temperature today is uh, 16 degrees Celsius, which is the equivalent of about 60.8 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so approximately 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not a very warm day. Hence, I've got my coat on. And uh, that also means that I am not going to get any... <laughs> any vitamin D today from this walk because my skin is not directly exposed to the sun. Okay, so uh, signs of low vitamin D, what are they? Now, the first thing to note is that the, you need your vitamin D for effective metabolism of calcium and phosphorus. And you need your calcium uh, in particular for your muscle health and your bone health. Um, so the, uh, the signs of uh, low vitamin D will uh, sort of be related to usually the bones and the muscles. That's the, uh, the first thing to note. So let's kick off then. Uh, symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, what are they? So symptom number one will be bone pain. Oh, I think I got a car coming. Uh, let's uh, give way, let the car through. Okay. Um, so, where was I? Uh, symptom number one, bone pain. Uh, not surprising. And uh, symptom number two will be muscle pain. So, if you are having bone and muscle pain, uh, then there's a very good chance you're vitamin D deficient. You need to uh, get checked out. So, symptom number three, what is that? Well, it's related to the teeth. I have a friend who told me that uh, um, anytime he was chewing on fruits, uh, say like an apple or a pear or a kiwi, when he got to the skin, because the skin is tougher, um, he had this weird pain, uh, you know, sensation in his teeth which meant he couldn't chew on the skin of the fruit thoroughly. Um, when he told me that, I said, well, actually, how about you check your vitamin D levels? He checked it, and lo and behold, he was vitamin D deficient. So, yes, you might have this kind of weird pain uh, in your teeth when you chew, uh, when you are vitamin D deficient. So that's symptom number three. Symptom number four uh, is uh, muscle spasm, okay, muscle spasm. So usually the large muscles, so your shoulder muscles, um, your thigh muscles, your arm muscles, uh, your calves, okay, um, they might go into spasm spontaneously for no, for no reason. Um, so if you're having that, you might be vitamin D deficient, okay? So that is symptom number four, I think. <laughs> So symptom number five, what will that be? Well, um, you know, tremors and twitches. So you may have tremors of your fingers and uh, which can be a bit frightening because you will think that you are developing Parkinson's disease. Um, no, you know, if you're having those tremors, it's very unlikely you are, okay? That's the worst case scenario. Um, you know, it may just be that you're vitamin D deficient. So uh, if you're having tremors of your fingers, your toes, um, please uh, just check your vitamin D levels. So what's that, number six or so? Symptom number seven, what will that be? Um, you could uh, also have, you know, bones that break easily, all right? And I have a friend who had a personal experience with this. She, she's, a, she's a colleague as well. She uh, woke up in the middle of the night, went to use the bathroom, and uh, what do you know, she broke 
the bone of her foot. Yes. Um, she was having pain the next morning when she woke up and she was wondering what had happened the night before. And then of course she goes to the emergency room um, at a a &E, and uh, what happens? She had an x-ray. Lo and behold, she had broken uh, one of the bones of her foot. Okay. So uh, bones that break easily, you might just be coming down the stairs and uh, putting one foot in front of the other uh, into uh, the, the next ste step and uh, you just break your bone. So bones that break easily, all right? Uh, if you have that, well, you might be vitamin D deficient. Uh, what else? Um, you may also have, by the way, I'm saving the worst for last, okay? There's, there's a terrible symptom and I'm saving it for, for last. What else? Um, you may have problems with uh, what we call your gait. So it's the way you walk. So you might waddle. Uh, you, you know, your walking pat pattern might be a little bit unusual. Why is that happening? Well, it's because the muscles of your thighs, okay, they're weak and they cannot really support uh, the, the weight of your torso. Uh, so you might have the, that kind of waddling uh, pattern of uh, walking. So uh, that is uh, another symptom. What else? Oh, I've got another car coming. Let's uh, uh, just allow the car to go through. Okay. Right. There's a car there. You can see the car. Um, what else? Um, you, uh, where was I now? I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> yes, the next symptom. Uh, that would be, uh, you know, kind of tingling sensation uh, in the skin. Uh, it's like pins and needles, you know, um, and uh, I have to say this has actually happened to me. Okay, this has happened to me um, And uh, this was a time when I was vitamin D insufficient uh, What happened then I noticed that if I stood for longer than 10 minutes I, I was having these pins and needles in my thighs. Okay, my the skin of my thighs and I used to wonder what was going on indeed I was vitamin D deficient or I was insufficient at the time um, so these are some of the uh, the uh, signs and symptoms that uh, you you will experience if you're vitamin D deficient so what's the worst one the worst sign of low vitamin D is rickets okay rickets um, and the, uh, it's not something we see often these days, uh, because I think a lot of the other signs, uh, will be more apparent earlier on, such that we'll pick it up earlier before it gets to the stage of rickets. And rickets refers to when the long bones of your legs, they bow out, okay? They bow out. And, uh, oh, there's another car coming. They bow out. And, uh, yeah, it's not something that we see often these days, but you might see it in children if uh, the parents uh, are not really watching uh, the uh, vitamin D status of their child. By the way, um, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, uh, the sun is getting in the way. I'm on the edge of a very nice golf course here. Look at that. Very beautiful golf course. Um, so. Uh, rickets is the worst uh, sign of low vitamin D. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how many symptoms I mentioned there. Um, hopefully, um, I have mentioned the most relevant. I could be missing out one or two. Here's the thing. Do you know uh, anyone who's had any of the symptoms? Have you experienced any of them yourself? I have. I shared mine with you. The pins and needles that I had in my thighs. Um, uh, the skin of my thighs. Um, have you, do you, have you experienced any? Do let me know in the uh, comment section. Um, or do you know anyone who has? Do let me know as well in the comment section. Um, so I'm hoping that, um, oh, by the way, the, the other thing I need to say is that the best way to confirm that your vitamin D levels are either adequate or low uh, insufficient deficient is to get tested okay you need to have the blood test done oh another car is coming i think uh let's give way yeah um so the, the best way is to get tested uh there are no two ways 
uh, around it get tested that's when you know what your vitamin d status is okay um now uh do share this if you got some value please give this video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends with your family with your colleagues if you got any questions at all regarding this very content uh go ahead or got any comments leave them down below i think that's it for this very video until next time well this is dr joe signing out